nerve root compression or irritation, and I distracted the vertebrae away from each other, what, would, what should that do? Make it better. Relieve the pain. That's, that's what we're looking for. A relief of the pain when we do this. If there's increased pain when we do this, then it's probably muscles, maybe joints that are irritated, and we're stretching those, and, that, and they're really irritated. So, we grab behind, usually thumbs underneath the occiput, fingertips around the, the ridge, the side ridges of the frontal bone. You have to do this in a very broad contact. A couple people were getting really kind of grippy, fingertips through the skull kind of grippy, and that's not cool. Also, the thumbs aren't pointing up in the occiput. They're pretty broad. Either way, what you need to do is get a solid grasp on their skull, and then we need to lift. And underneath like this, I'm not crushing the jaw. That's one thing you really should pay attention to, uh, even though... We had a couple of people say, oh, that actually felt good with that pressure on my jaw. Don't crush the jaw. You're really holding the skull. The back of the skull and lift. Nice and slowly. Hold it. Rip it down. Bring it back. Don't let it recoil. That'll hurt. How'd that feel? As long as they say that, that's perfect. It's exactly on just about everybody. If, if you have no problems with your neck or it's neurological, and you, relieve, you get a relief of symptoms when you do this, those are good findings. If it hurts more when you distract it, there's a whole bunch of other stuff it could be. Mostly muscles and joints. So that's distraction. So we've compressed the nerve roots in different positions. We've distracted them to see if that relieves the pain. Now we need to stretch them. And this is the shoulder depression. So we place, we place passively a patient's head in the lateral flexion about where they're going. And that's about where she stops. Then I hold the head there. I don't put any more pressure on this. And I push down on the shoulder. So I keep the head there. Push down on the shoulder. Ramping in. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Coming back out. What'd that feel like? Tight. Yeah, a stretch. A stretch. And that's a normal finding. That's not a positive. A positive would be a reproduction, mostly of arm symptoms that we're looking for when we're doing this test because we're stretching the cervical brachial plexus and what that does, it tugs on the nerve roots and it might drag the nerve root over an osteophyte or a disc herniation. We could have a reduction of symptoms here too, which if it's like a central disc herniation, it might actually pull the nerve root away from it. So you want to mark down whatever um, finding you have and then put everything together and decide what it is. I've had cases where patient has what really seem like neurological symptoms, you do that, you know, compression's uh, positive, you do this, and it actually feels a lot better. Well, that's because the disc, the disc bulge is in the middle, or maybe even closer to the other side, and that actually pulls the nerve root away from that disc bulge, so it actually relieves the symptoms. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but um, it is possible. So, again, the classical positives we'll talk about in lecture, most of them are in the notes but you get a lot of other findings here with, with orthopedic tests. That's why it's so important to understand the biomechanics of what's going on. So you can say...